G'day there guys, how you doing? And I just want to give you an update on my 3D printed RASA diffraction spike cable holder masks. I've been getting a few emails um, from these guys and comments uh, regarding the uh, the masks themselves. And, uh, and yeah, guess what? I've made the file available for you guys. Um, if you hit the join or the membership section of this uh, YouTube channel, you'll be able to um, uh, be able to get a hold of the file itself if you want to print off your own mask with the uh, with a slight donation, of course. Um, towards generating more of these uh, these parts for our Celestron and Rasa telescopes. Um, the only uh, difference between this one here and the other ones that I've been printing um, is that I've decided to get a little bit fancy and uh, and try my design by Stephen Morris. Um, little uh, design there, so uh, yeah, that's the one that's uh, available um, for you guys if you want to 3D print them. If you want me to print one of these um, for yourself, then get in contact with me through my uh, through my website or uh, social feeds, and uh, and I should be able to print one one of these off uh, for you if you uh, like it. It's just the uh, shipping costs from. Australia to around the world aren't, aren't exactly uh, cheap, but um, we'll see what we can do. So what I'll do is I'll show you just how my masks sort of work. Um, this one here is, has been printed with a uh, just a, a black um, filament, whereas these other ones here are a carbon fibre um, based uh, filament. I've sort of just ran out of the black, so I'm using the carbon fibre stuff. Um, all right, so it's pretty simple. Obviously, it just goes around the camera like so. And you've got these pins here, um, which your, uh, um, your dust cap um, sort of goes on and, and clips onto. So basically, just just goes on like so. And then just locks into, into place like, like that. And then, um, whoops, cables, cables everywhere. Cables everywhere. I thought I'd tidy all this stuff up. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I've got three cables that go to my uh, camera at the front here, so my focuser. So we will just wrap that in there, something like this. Give it a bit more slack. There we go. Um, power cable, so usually goes something like this. There we go, that's all locked in there, and then I've got my other cable, so we'll go something like that. Something like that. So as you can see, the cables are all pretty much locked away, um, aren't causing too many, too many uh, issues there, so slightly cleaner uh, cable management as well as giving um, your stars a uh, pretty cool uh, diffraction spikes. Now there are some other things that I've been um, starting to design and that's a, uh, a dark frame cap. Um, this was just in the very, very, very early stages um, of development or design or whatever you, you want to call it. Because for me, uh, with the twins, I don't want to be taking the cameras off and on all the time. I just want to just leave them on. Um, so it makes it easier when I'm out there in the field imaging. I don't have to realign cameras and everything else, like the two cameras together. If you just got the uh, the one Rasa, then you don't really probably need something like this. Um, you just take the camera off, put the cap on it, and you can shoot your dark frames and bias frames and all that sort of stuff. So for me, I'm going to design this little cap here so that way... Um, the uh, the front elements also protected, as well as I can shoot my uh, my dark frames, and there's actually a um, a flat frame one I'd like to design as well, um, purely because it's a bit of a pain uh, when using um, the rasses for your calibration uh, frames, especially your your, um, your flat frames. So I'd like to design something for uh, flat frames. And the other reason why I want to design something like this because sometimes when you take flat frames um, 
or dark frames, well, sorry, with me, um, flat frames, and I've got the, the dew shield on and light in front of the dew shield. The heat within the dew shield and everything stays within the dew shield pretty much, so the camera then starts to struggle over time to keep that, um, that set temperature, as well as shooting dark frames. When I shoot my dark frames, I do it all in one hit, so um, yeah, again, just having something that can go over the actual camera itself, allow the camera to breathe, allow the camera to, to continue being able to um, uh, keep cool, um, but also block everything else so that way you can um, shoot all your, all your calibration frames a little bit easier. Um, these are just some of the challenges that I've encountered with calibration frames. Um, and uh, it's not easy. One of the, uh, I guess it's one of the, um, the cons to owning a RASA is uh, your calibration frames are certainly a bit of a, a bit more of a pain to um, to shoot compared to a conventional refractor telescope, which I do miss at times. I really do sometimes, but I um, love my RASAs. So as you can see, I've been printing a few of them. Um, this one here's still got uh, all the uh, the rest of the 3D print stuff that I've got to clean up. And to be honest with you, I'm still new to 3D printing, so um, the actual finish of these masks here, um, to me, they're fine because they're just going to do what they need to do is hold cables and everything, so they don't need to be look like a million dollars. Um, so, but they're still a little, little bit, a uh, little bit rough um, in some areas. But uh, I'm getting a lot better at the uh, 3D prints. So if you do want a, uh, a, uh, a little RASA mask uh, and you don't have yourself a 3D printer, um, get in contact with me and I might be able to try and uh, do my best to help you out. They do take about, um, about, about 24 hours to print. Um, only because I, I run it at a very slow setting and I found that a slower setting gives me a better quality result. So, um, and, and it also um, stops the, the, the print as well from lifting and, uh, and you know, adhering better to the, 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 uh, the heat bed and all these other little things that I've learned along the time. So, uh, so yeah, if you're after one, um, jump on my website and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to, uh, to my website, um, contact me form or whatever if you're uh, interested in, in one. Um, and if you've got your own 3D, like I said, if you've got your own 3D printer and would like to uh, print your own RASA mask at the uh, support of supporting this channel, um, you can do so in, in the, uh, the membership section um, below. Alright guys, so that's it for this uh, video. If you've got any uh, comments, uh, please let me know. If you've uh, enjoyed it, thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please check out some of my other videos. Um, and if you enjoy those videos too, then don't forget to hit that subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, take it easy. See us.